A sad Thanksgiving holiday for one local family who's mourning the loss of a mother. Wednesday evening, Juliet Lee was pulling onto NC 11 out of the cash and carry with her son when an accident happened. The 62 year old died at the scene. The other driver, Graham Williams, is working with police during the investigation. Locals say this isn't the first time major accidents have happened here. WNCT's Tamara Scott joins us now at that intersection and Tamara neighbors say that they want something done about this. Katie, just standing here, I've seen dozens of cars cross this intersection and residents are telling me that it's the issue of people not worrying about anyone else. That's the problem. Two major accidents one year apart at the same intersection and other minor crashes are common at the spot. It's not a, a game anymore. It's serious. William Bryan works at the cash and carry off Highway 11 North next to the intersection of Hanrahan Road. It's a dangerous intersection. Last year, Pitt County emergency crews had to airlift a man from an accident when an 18-wheeler crashed into a 15-passenger van. Just a year later, a woman is dead after a crash at the same site. Brian says enough is enough. It's deadly. You need stoplights. So. The people around here know the intersection. Then people that don't live around here don't know how to take that intersection. It's not your ordinary crossing. You can go across, and if you're going to make a turn, get into the stopping lane right there in the medium. But people don't know about that. Residents like Derek Jones say speed also is a factor. You're doing 70 coming this way. You do not know about this store in the insect until it's too late. He says it's time the Department of Transportation makes adjustments. Speed limit signs reduce your speed and a caution light to make sure you reduce it. Before it's too late. I had some friends of mine in the same intersection, you know, been injured. And it could have saved a lot of lives. The NCDOT has money set aside to research and improve the intersection. According to the DOT's website, improvements could begin as soon as 2017. Live in Grifton, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side.